Well, hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Ali from Ali G Art Designs. Um, today I've, I'm going to be using colours that I have used before on a canvas I did a little while ago, but I just love these colours together. I'm just going to try and do something a little bit different with the base. Um, I'll just show you my colours. So for the base, I am actually going to do a, a well, I guess you can call it a gradient, but it's um. Hopefully you can see that. So I've got a, a, a not a real dark grey, but a darker grey, a little bit lighter, and then a little bit lighter again. So I'm going to kind of have like um, three different tones on the base um, for this painting. All right, now, now for the colours that I've got, they're not really anything new, but um, but they just work so beautifully together. So I've just got white just, just to, as a first colour. I've got Tahiti, I've got a, a custom colour that I made up, it's green, a bit of blue and metallic pearl. I have got the beautiful um, colour that I made up that I call Ballet Slipper, but it's uh, coral, fuchsia and pearl, uh, metallic pearl. I have got, again, the fuchsia, coral, and white to make that color, bit of a peachy sort of color. Got my usual, um, what is it? <laughs> Magenta and metallic black, rose gold, metallic white, and or metallic pearl. I keep getting them mixed up. Same thing though, and some pepio iridescent gold. Okay, so they're the colors that I'm going to be using today. Okay, let's get started with the base. Um, I have no idea if this is even going to show up as, as three different colours, but we'll hopefully the plan will work. Okay, might leave it like that, give it a bit of medium space. All right. Oh gosh, a bit of a blob coming out.
go. Just gonna flood the canvas where it is. I put a lot of paint on this. I actually did want it to come out a little bit fuller in its um, thickness sort of thing. Uh, deeper is probably a better word for it. Um, but I did probably felt like I put too much for the amount of space that's on <laughs> this canvas. But anyway, I'm going to fan it out a little bit with my mouth and then we are going to put some lines through it. All right, where to start? Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals, they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine Chase the night, wanna dance to the light. Cause stars from the sky, just two hearts running wild. Never sleep, never stop. As we shout from the top, we're gonna, we're gonna be two hearts running wild. Alright, 
I'm gonna see if I can do something with that because there's a lot of paint there. And uh, all right, that might just be a big smash there. All right, let's see. Now the morning is the afternoon. We lay awake in bed. It lasts so loud as the hours pass. We're gonna do it all again. okay it's still gonna look absolutely gorgeous when it dries it'll be probably pretty dark but I love those colors I really do all right I'll take you in for a close-up and then we will see how it dries okay so um, I've given it a bit of a torch and so I've, I've come up with some of these cells that look really pretty to show you that some of them have just come through because i do put australian flow troll in the base color and i think i might have been a bit heavy-handed on the flow troll and so it's probably helped with some of those cells coming through too like there um yeah pretty little ones everywhere very nice i'm very happy with it i it just probably got a little bit carried away with the dark color the dark purple color oh gosh i call it something different every time um have a look at some of the sparkle because i have got a lot of um pearl sort of colors in there or metallics in there as well that'd be very pretty very pretty. i love that green it's it's a very it's not a you know a turquoise it's it's very green green and i love that i actually wanted that without turning my picture into a christmas picture <laughs> Uh, there's some cells coming through with a beautiful colour there. I've done a little swirl there to sort of finish that off. It probably might clean that up a little bit because it's still a bit weird. How pretty is that? All right, well, that's it. Um, let's hope it dries. Oh, can you tell the different colours? If I just hold it there for a minute, you can tell that colour to that colour. You know, like you can just tell the, the very slight difference with the background. It just gives it a little bit of, um, I don't know, just a bit of interest, I guess. All right, we'll come back when it's dry. It's going to take a while because it's very wet. Okay, then. Bye. Okay, here's the dry result. Um, just loving it. Again, that purple's dried so dark. But, you know, there's some beautiful shimmers coming through it. I really love that. Um lots of cells in it and if I take it back hopefully you can see the three different colors in the background I can certainly see them 
uh, what else stands out? Lots of cells that have dried very nicely. And of course, it's a bit darker than when you when you wet when it's wet paint. But I think overall, it's turned out really nice. Um, yeah. All right, that's it from me today. We will see you next time. Bye.